It all started with this post by Marco Russo where he mentioned that they used an MCP server uh, that would take the text formatter that is inside their website and would format any decks based on their website's uh, text formatter algorithm. And it got me thinking that this should be the very surface level of the application for MCP servers. So basically MCPs are model context protocols and you can think of them as an USB-C uh, for your different tools, uh, for your different works, for your different algorithms um, and many more. If you are interested, I can break down the concept like even more uh, as I have as now I have some working experience. So it got me thinking and I had a plan to actually read uh, a specific server and a specific database like SQL uh, database and I should be able to like converse uh, with the database okay and get all my uh, queries answered and I want like uh, my SQL query and I also want uh, my uh, SQL query answers with explanation and not only that I went even like one step further and I also like made it to execute queries from the like uh, from the client itself okay so for the MCP I have to you know run the MCP using a uh, like using a cl client so we can use cursor for this we can use Windsor for this uh, we can use VS code for this but in our demonstration we are using the Claude desktop for this okay and I have already set up the MCP with our Claude and now let's Okay, I will click on always. Okay, now it's asking me to provide it the database server information and also the database name. So if I go to uh, my SQL endpoint, I'll copy the SQL endpoint and I will give it the name uh, basically, the database name. Now it's going to connect uh, with the SQL endpoint and it's also going to authenticate uh, based on like based on the app registration. All right, so the connection has been done and now it's going to automatically discover all the available tables, all the available columns um, in our database that is curated EDW. So it automatically figured out the number of tables I have and the number of columns uh, I have. And now it's actually giving us the overview. Okay. So, so far, I think it's uh, like good enough to impress anyone. But okay, let's go even further. Um, let's ask him questions like, uh, how many rows are there in the customers table? We can ignore uh, these warnings. So these are basically warnings, not errors. So you see, uh, this actually got me the answer. And if I expand this thing, I also get the like SQL query. Okay, uh, let's make it even a little bit more complicated. I want to see a sales amount. Sales amount for each reseller companies. As you, as you can see, uh, it knows the about our, uh, it knows about our 
um, schema, uh, the table and columns, and it automatically figuring out the proper uh, queries and like the proper informations. So it's making, it, it made a little mistake here initially. Uh, and because of that mistake, the SQL output did not, uh, you know, arrived. Now it's like uh, checking. <laughs> now it's like checking uh, for the reseller table and it's uh, different columns information. And it find out that the company information is, you know, with the reseller name. And after that, once it figured out, uh, now it's actually creating the, uh, you know, uh, workable uh, SQL query. And it got us our expected result, okay? Now, not only that, there is also the write back feature. Like I can create a view and also I can execute it uh, inside our like warehouse, for example, uh, create a view and execute it for the above um, sales amount for each resellers. Okay, now if I go to our, as you can see, the view has been created in the warehouse itself. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, uh, so far I'm totally amazed. I am very much surprised and I'm actually to be very honest, when I find out it can actually do things like that, uh, it was totally like breath. I was totally breathless. Okay, I am very much excited to figure out its full potential and do some more R and D and hopefully uh, share with you all. Thank you very much.